and all I want him. But I think we have done something you will love. So, thank you very much for giving us your chance to perform this game. I hope you are really good friends. ヨーロッパで作ったこんなものができるのかとかねだからえっとUBSさんやっぱりアクションゲームをちゃんと作ってる会社なんでこれはタンセの uh, but with a very good pace. Oh, yeah, no, something it's, it's dodgy, yes. Yeah. Actually, yeah. yeah. So, no, let's welcome Xavier, you know, the, the producer of the game, the in the and he will As show us the game. They have any so, thanks again. Any the thanks again, Miyamoto. Just a bit patty, isn't it? And it um, what doesn't make sense is how much Konami have stepped back from the game industry. If they were yeah. still active, finally, it's a tiny, tiny fraction of the Finally, their we can talk yeah. about this project. Legal casino gambling things. They own fitness clubs. Uh, so we've been working on this game for more Japan. than three years now. And, uh, yeah. So if it was more of their today, income, you could understand stage, it a little bit. It's still it's just, disgusting. Uh, super exciting. But the fact. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, like, what Xbox is this game exactly? Tiny, so Mario tiny Plus Rabbids yeah. Kingdom Battle yep. is a tactical adventure them to exclusive for the Nintendo the Switch. And let's check right no. away some gameplay. Because they're not cunts. No. <laughs> okay, is this gameplay footage of this now? Oh. Okay. Is that a Roomba? That looks like a Roomba. <laughs> With rabbit ears. Yeah. So the rabbits have been teleported into the uh, the Mushroom Kingdom. Okay. This doesn't look terrible, but I need to see and chaotic. So Mario, as a really true pretty. hero, wants to uh, save the day. I haven't and seen I haven't seen any gameplay of this. Time, any game uh, with this. some new friends. No, I mean neither. You know, it, it, this looks nice, but then the rabbits are going to turn up and I'm going to hate it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's horrific. <laughs> <sighs> and at first, oh, they don't really know dogs. each other. Do you know what, though? There is a cool story somewhere where there's like alternate versions of the characters, but not one where they're rabbits. You know? Like, if there was a cool, like, Bizarro Peach or something, or Bizarro Luigi or things, there's a cool story there. <laughs> yeah, kind of, but this looks. So it's how. Because then uh, you just saw them face to face. That mean, makes me think it's some weird world. I don't know. There's no combat system yet, which is interesting. And why are they following this and as the game is thing a around? Turn-based tactical adventure game. Yeah. Uh, combat is a really big part of the concept. Um, so you'll fight wave after wave of rabbits that somehow. Oh, you'll fight bad. wave after wave and, uh, of rabbits. Even better, because they're the just, enemies. Uh, the very beginning of the game, so it'll be perfect Wait. to talk about the combat. It's going to be cover-based combat. Uh, so the two flags you see on the screen here is to tell you this is a battlefield zone. So you'll switch from exploration it looks like it's mode be cover -based. to battle mode. Uh, what? The blue zone is your zone of movement. There's always been one for weird combat systems in these games, though. Look at color splash and stuff with a card thing. Such as uh, covers. For protection, kind of like the X. So rabbit Luigi here using half cover. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. With the, yeah, take and, the grid uh, out or simplifying the grid and just letting it appear like you can move anywhere so within a space. So your teammates, yeah. you can expand. It's similar to yeah, it's that style. So here, rabbit Peach uh, like, using Mario. Yeah, she's able to flank emblems. the enemy. So you can also attack the enemy behind that cover and expose them by destroying that cover. Oh God, um, they've got guns. It's really interesting in terms of strategy because yep. uh, for next breaking turn, down cover and stuff. Open for, uh, yeah. And last but not least, techniques. So from defensive ones oh, like uh, uh, Rabbit Peach Shield Boost or offensive well, ones like Mario's, Mario's Hero Sight. <laughs> He's able to attack the enemy even if it's not his turn. It does, as soon as but it pains moves. me to say this doesn't look terrible. <laughs> It just has, it just has annoying animals in it. Yeah. So this is a very core aspect of the game itself. So you mix and match attack options, movement abilities, techniques, but we also have um, other ingredients such as uh, pipes, rabbit pipes. Andy just wrote in our so chat that you, Nintendo uh, must have been on drugs to okay this. To, uh, <laughs> so so yeah, like the drugs went both ways. Yeah. Out of the pipe. <laughs> Dash the enemy, goes for Mario, team jump, 
I think Miyamura must have done drugs at some point for some of the weird ideas he's had. Pikmin is definitely drug infused, surely. And what do we see uh, here is actually an uh, explosive cover. So those have many type of uh, super effects, and this one was a push effect. So you can push heroes or enemies out of the uh, battery. <laughs> so again, this is this just a glimpse right. into the basics of the game. So that's Here the thing. Can you overlook the, the terrible, uh, like, humor sensibility he's going to have because of the setups. Ubisoft stuff for a good, like, tactical heroes, RPG game? Weapons. Because that's what this looks like. Through, uh, Look at all these weapons and stuff! It's got like, what's possibly a loot system? I wonder if they've gone like, full hog, it's like a uh, Maybe, if there's other... Maybe it... Yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry mate, Mario's dead. Maybe that's their way around, like you have rabbits that take on different personas of the Nintendo characters. Something. It's not going to have the same, like, because I got really attached to my squad members. In, yep. And next time if one of them died, I was really upset. Same in Fire Emblem. Yeah, I'm not going to give a shit for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I wanted that to look Thank terrible you. so that you could slag it off, yeah. And that's. Yeah. And that's just uh, a glimpse into the game itself. But, and uh, Amiibos, they're on to a winner. and foremost, this is a project done with passion, with our hearts. So it would not exist otherwise. So we just can't wait for you guys to try the game at E3 this week. Uh, for those who are not at E3, you'll see online coverage, videos, and surprises. So have a great conference. Have a great E3. Thank you. No, no surprises, guys. Like, up next. Yep. What are we going to show you next? No... Soundtrack is inventive with it. Yeah, from uh, Luigi's Mansion, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> that comes out just in time for me to go on holiday as well. What was that date? I missed that. August 29th. Okay, that's pretty soon then, really. Yeah, they already said. Oh, yeah, I, what I saw last night um, at the Xbox Hi. conference didn't, I'm not didn't excite Mel, me. Game director, like I no, I, so so I did come round on the big that. snake thing though, because people were kind of talking about how it might take like a <laughs> Arabian Nights, like Sinbad, more Almost mystical ago, feel. I, yeah. as so then I was like... Fell in love with the game. That game took I kind us of come around on it thinking it could be cool and, and that could be the something different again, a little bit. The it was always kind of rooted at Over least the years, the yeah. Amazing yeah, the only thing that was not real the was the, the kind of the pieces of Eden. 
And of course, like the yeah, final, the, the final bosses were always weird. For the yeah, ten year was, like, anniversary of Assassin's Creed, Creed for Assassin's for Creed fans, 3, where for ourselves, you could turn into and for all newcomers. Oh yeah, yeah, I never played back. it, but I remember very it far back to show it how it all began. Since Black Flag, over the last three and a half years, we have poured our energy, our talent, our passion into bringing the land of pyramids, pharaohs, and mummies bastards. to life. There were some there rumors going Egypt around that they might make a separate. Might announce a separate like pirates franchise because that's what Black Flag started as, didn't it? Invent what it means to be uh, I think so, yeah. Creed. And over the next few days, you will see, play, and feel this reinvented experience. This started as some project from the, I am um, studio deeply in honored Singapore, I think it and was. Yeah. Who to be here representing the amazing work working on something of a different phenomenal team. And then just decided to spend the whole game, full game. To finally Assassin's be able game. to show you this beast mm. you have been building. Yeah, I think that sounds about right. Yeah. Without further ado, mm. here is a taste of Egypt. I don't know. I really enjoyed Syndicate. I kind of feeling this too. Yeah, I did <laughs> as well. I I didn't think I would. Um, I picked it up when it was cheap and. I kind of really enjoyed it. I haven't played the DLC, the, the Jack the Ripper stuff's supposed to be really good. No. I haven't tried it either. There's people on Twitter writing, Mario Rabbids is the biggest swing from not caring to caring. Would not have expected how awesome it looks. That was uh, Jeff, Jeff Kanata. Yeah. Oh, Max Scoville says, IGN says, I've wanted an XCOM that replaces the crushing difficulty and bleak setting with Italians and inbred woodland animals. <laughs> Is this another weird cover version of an actual song? I don't know, but it's obviously a real song, isn't it? They've made this dramatic re uh, cover of. I don't know, I can't, don't recognise the song it's a cover of. No, I me mean neither. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, as an extra yeah, treat, to, uh, let's check in with home base, where we're going to get a glimpse of what you'll see right yeah, after the UB conference. Of, uh, hey there Mario folks, Chris Rabbids. Waters here yeah. at home base with <laughs> Hanny Duong and Carl Lua, producer on Assassin's Creed Origins Dan's at Ubisoft Singapore. Jeff's gonna uh, Carl's it. here to give us a look at the gameplay of the game. We're going to be entering the open yes. world. We've got a ton more to show you, but... What Carl, are these guys doing on it? Does this because Chris Waters work for Ubisoft of, now? ...of Egypt. This is the demo that we will be showing uh, on the, the show floor here at E3. He used to work for GameSpot for years. Did the lobby and stuff. It's been like a beautiful an area. We see we've come in from the desert, spot, yeah. towards like, this Lake really Morris, and uh, let's have a little exploration around here using our eagle. Um, Justin Haywald. He's not been there as long, but he's still like a veteran, I guess. Looks really good. It's running on the Xbox One X. It will be giving you the gameplay feed after the show. We've got 30 minutes of that coming up. But uh, let's see if we can see from a bird's eye view what Sainu is up to. There's not that many people left. Yeah, so Sainu is uh, looking into this military camp and tagging a few enemies here. After, after the show, we will infiltrate yep. this camp and take it out either through anymore. stealth or combat or perhaps range weapons. Really Alright, if on, you guys um, want to see more uh, of this, be sure to tune in right after the conference. Well, Chris and I and Carl here will be yeah, right he here. Yeah, he knows his retro stuff. Well. Yes, you won't want to miss yeah. it. That 30 minutes live gameplay feed is coming up after the show, but for now, it's back to the stage. Oh, and on the South with the Park there. That's it for now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Andy so thinks that, uh, that you can watch this that's the price that Ubisoft got from uh, Nintendo from for them for to develop for the Switch. So kind of they like said, yeah, we'll develop Ubisoft for the Switch if we get Mario. Where you can live uh, this new experience of Assassin's Creed. Well, Thank you very Ubisoft much. Ubisoft have always been on board with like, the uh, same name. Zombie U for the Wii U, they ported yeah. um, 
One of the at least one of the Assassin's Creed, of course. Three. Uh, first Watch Dogs. I'm, I'm sure the first Watch Dogs is one of the and then we, they brought a bunch of stuff out, didn't they? Like Red Steel, yeah. and that's when the rabbits yeah, were born. Always been, they've always been pretty good at supporting inside. I mean, even they dropped off on the Wii U generation. Oh. That's the point, but they've always been pretty good at supporting. What the hell is this? Crew 2? Oh, yeah, for He's sure. Changed. Yeah, okay. The <laughs> problem is um, that trailer for Need to Speed, as well as the Burnout. Like, it's going to be better, yeah. Yeah, I may buy Need for Speed. I've been watching more stuff of it. I, it's, it, it's dumb. The like, the fucking bit where they drive out of the back of that truck is like Fast and Furious dumb. It's good. Yes. Yes, that's what I want. Exactly. It pulls it away from. It pulls it away from this kind of thing, and it like and even further away from Forza. Like it couldn't be more different. Yep. Oh look, you're gonna race against horses. I really. I started the crew. I think it was free with. I think it came free with. Games with Gold one month and I stopped playing it. I just couldn't get into it. The idea was cool of driving across America, but no, maybe they branched out. It has to be. What else? Are they? They're not gonna have two racing games, are they? Then again, though, the crew was all about like you were some. That had some weird story modes. You weren't racing like competitive races. No, no, you were just like an underground street racer thing. Yeah, now you were an ex-con or something, weren't you? You got out. Like stories are trying to put you in the middle. Yeah. That last one, like the first person FMP cutscenes, was hilarious. Hmm. I haven't played that one, but I've got it because it was free with VA access. Outside the city stuff, and it also you only ever race at night, so you know, oh. you know, it's just a shame. But it does make um, it look cool, though. Yeah, it looks cool. Uh, it's like it's fun to like you know, it's fun to drift around six streets and the FFG cutscenes are hilarious. Unintentionally hilarious. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I just realised Andy wrote something else as well. No Aisha Tyler. No Aisha Tyler, say, I just realised. Yeah? But where's she? Thanks to our players. It's weird, isn't it? Guys are on your own. What they liked. And what they wanted to see in the future. Yeah, she was like, I'll come, but my feet is up. It's time to take it way beyond driving. Are they still fighting off a hostile takeover? I am. From Vivendi or somebody? Yeah. This is a crew. I assume so. Even his brother desperately trying to get into their company. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think... I mean, I don't know how much money they personally put into the Assassin's Creed or whether they just licensed the property out to it. To anywhere else. The world. It fucking tanked. Drivers and fans Did they not even make its money back? Meet across the country um, and, uh, and we, we celebrate this up. Um, a it common passion for ten million all more back worldwide than it than Now's the production Now's your chance to but, join in, um, okay. ladies and gentlemen. Was, but production budget welcome to the the Crew Two. Like you take the production budget and then you double it, and that's nation. what the total cost of production and marketing on, on average. It's not always the case. That's what the average is. And if you look at it like that, it just lost the shit. Yeah. It's like marketing posters, um, billboards, TV commercials, internet commercials, stuff like that. A lot of money, yeah, yeah. And so it can easily, like some for, uh, for like big, big films, um, some of what must be not uh, unusual for us. Yeah, sure, I can believe that, yeah. 
Yeah, easily. Especially around the world. Yeah. Wait, that's a Porsche. City. Street oh. racers prove their skills. I assume I assume Forza had like an exclusive thing with all that stuff they were banging on about. Yeah. Um, but then there's, there's Porsches in um, Need for Speed, when the last Need for Speed is well. Forge your own path off road through. This is just Forza Horizon. Beauty of nature. This looks better than the last one. The last one looks a bit. Hmm. Who knows? <laughs> Could all be crap too. <laughs> Could not even be real. Yeah, they kind of have previous. Yeah. Tame, unpredictable waves on the open ocean, rapid waters, or narrow <laughs> rivers. <laughs> Is this the closest thing we're going to get to a new wave race? <laughs> it already kind of exists in uh, GTA Online. Does it? Oh, GTA Online's got every sort. Of I need to get, but I bought. I recently bought the Xbox version because it was going cheap. I played it on PS3 originally, but I need to install it. The gun running thing. Stunning. Yeah, 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 I've seen adverts for that on YouTube and stuff. Looks good. Yeah. It looks insane. Andy wrote he's not interested in the crew too either. No, it really looks nice, but I would rather fly a stunt plane around San Andreas. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing, when something like GTA can do this stuff as good if not better than a dedicated game, then why would you bother? And it does, it, it does all of this. It does street racing, it does like... It, it even does even more stuff, it's, but they kind of took the um, track mania model uh, on the recent episodes. Mm-hmm. Like, basically, it's been happening in a year, I think, like... Crazy, crazy, like track with loops and loops and big jumps and stuff like that. No, um, yeah. All across the Plane country. racing, helicopter racing, I boat racing, contest, jet ski racing, cycle racing. Take the lead. But then you can also play tennis or golf. You've or had a glimpse online. of the then crew all the other shit you would normally do. Register, register now. now. Yeah, like the actual game. <laughs> as a single player. Or just like experience, experience full on TC2 for yourself. campaigns built into the different Enjoys the ride, like thank the, you. The heists and the, uh, the biker gang stuff and the uh, uh, running your own crime syndicate, which is the same as this gun run, I think. Mm. It's a, the problem is just there's just literally too much in that game, though. So if, if I jump in now after not playing it for a while, it's kind of daunting. Yeah. We all okay, started cool. one team. We all wanted to be superheroes. Still need to finish reason. the first one of these. So you're a traitor, Tweak, and now you're with a group of super traitors. This was started by you. We aren't the ones who walked out of the fucking franchise, Mysterion. Oh. Why would the Freedom Pals? Yeah, it doesn't always Since work if it can't. Group who pretends to want to switch sides and join Freedom Pals. Yeah. Somebody who they you're don't good. know very well. They just say like, choose your destiny. You've got problems, new kid. Whatever you did last night got a lot of people's attention. Bad people. Oh. If you need information, just know you can rely on... So I started the first one expecting nothing. I got it dirt cheaper on the Steam sale. And it is really good. Um,
Hello, Toolshed. Toolshed is a catchy tier class missionary archetype. And a bunch of traitors. Back to my Oh, God. Wait. You must like listen to me. Get out of my head, Timmy. Yet. Your franchise is going nowhere. And Face the like truth, Eric. You guys are kind of douchebags. He just called us douchebags in my mind. He did? Uh, so so. South Park, the fracture, mm. but who? Maybe this is a so I haven't watched it. I couldn't even tell you. I don't even. The last time I actually watched an episode when it was newish was the one where. Who is it? Stan is waiting for the Wii to come out and he falls asleep. Or like the equivalent of the Wii and he wakes up in the future. Oh or my something. god. But that's yeah. the last time I watched it, so that's. Wow. Ages that's my so interest. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to assume that it's, it was, there was just a sort of synergy. Um, well, we're looking me. to do something I'm, interesting I'm, I'm in VR. We've got this division, and you're looking to sort of bring, it, you know, what sense you have of storytelling with them, is it, and put that into the context of VR. Well you can, for so the first time as a player, feel like you are in a movie. Yeah, because yeah, because they churn them out, don't they? Like in a week. Yeah. Take off the gear and still feel it. If I was to catch it up now. I think a lot of the episodes, like, I, I stopped watching it before the... Uh, What's working with Ubisoft? We stumbled like across some fascinating research that had begun in the late 90s. So like Essentially, yeah. neuroscientists had um, figured out a way to upload brain data, so a lot of the topical trauma, aren't emo really emo emotions, memories, to the digital yeah. space. What is this? Now, I don't know, something with Elijah, Elijah Wood. Ubisoft, You're talking about VR. Have they made a video game version of... Uh, Eternal Delighted Sunshine. To come and join us and experience the Walter Tess case for yourself. Not as a character, but for me. Again, you were making the um, Star Trek Bridge Commander. Uh, yeah, I think it was then. Cause last time around, they had, a, they had a VR section, didn't they, where they played that, that weird eagle game. Oh, yeah. They had Palmer Lock and Ted on stage. Nope. He's done. What you were experiencing is a recorded consciousness. What the hell it's is not this? Like watching a movie, so no matter how real it may seem, it this must be you. a new IP. And he just wrote Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> you were completely safe. Yeah, I remember even earlier in that. Do you remember the film he was in called The Faculty? Oh yeah, yeah. It's kind oh, of a God. that's kind of a cult classic, isn't it? Like, oh, as a cult following, not a cult yeah, classic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. It's yeah. Everything is illuminated. Never even heard of it. And oh, now, it's really good. I'm happy to share oh, a new surprise. surprise with you. Oh, he's Building so French. on the legacy of one of our <laughs> most, most popular, popular worlds, worlds. <laughs> the super talented teams of Ubisoft Singapore. Oh, look, there's water in the background. Really, really unique. Is this your pirate so game? I want you to see that Echo and enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> I think this is your pirate game. I could be way off. Ah, seventeen twenty-one. That's about the right Men time. From all over the oh, world, sail the treacherous trade routes. Talking about this is a pirate's ocean. voice. The riches and oh. fuel their <laughs> dreams of power and fortune, while wetting the appetites of those they fear most. There you Pirates. go. <laughs> Yep, happy you just said it was them. Surprise it's taken them this long. Yeah, cause Black Flag was a long time ago now, wasn't it, really? That, that was, I picked that up on, day, on launch day when I got my PS4. It was a cross gen. Day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course it was, yeah. Yeah, this is by this even the yeah, this is Assassin's Creed Black Flag for all intents and purposes. Yes. But without all the Assassin's Creed nonsense. Yeah. 
<laughs> Imagine if that's what it was called, on board. Just have a whiz around. And I was saying um, last night, the Xbox were like, it's, it still looks really good getting into a, like an epic fight with a, with a Spanish man of war uh, in the middle of a raging thunderstorm. Yeah. When you're like using the waves as cover. Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. I mean it's good. Is this. Oh, this is a cover version. Be. I think it is a seal song, yeah. I mean, it's... yeah. <laughs> and he just wrote, just what need Russell Crowe. <laughs> <laughs> Generic name, but can, yeah, live, well, can live with it. Yeah, I'm fine with that. People seem happy. No way. I I wonder if we'll even see footage proper like proper gameplay now. 120 oh, days. Man. That's how long the average pirate survived a lawless life on the seas during the golden age of piracy. I'm Justin Farron, the creative director for Skull and Bones. Yeah, this is their style, isn't it, to bring out the creative director and talk about it. A bit like they did with uh, a bit like they did with For Honor. So we might see a bit now and then maybe it's out next year. Since bringing innovative naval combat yeah. to Assassin's Creed, we at Ubisoft Singapore have set out to bring you the ultimate pirate experience. A tactical action game where we take that naval combat to the next level, mastering the ocean and its winds at the helm of ships armed to the teeth. Skull and Bones takes place in a shared systemic world where you can sail solo or form a gang of pirates with your friends and together terrorize the trade routes of the Indian Ocean. Season after season, you'll collaborate and compete with other bloodthirsty players, even execute ruthless betrayals in order to become oh, so the ultimate the pirate model. kingpin. Mm. Now I'm proud to share with you the loot hunt. One of Skull and Bones five Skull versus five team-based PvP modes. Right on, right? Um, We've back, just received you know, intel like that merchant convoys um, rich with treasure are sailing Vikings, just off the coast of Madagascar. It but beware, how well there are other pirates also looking to play oh, okay. the PvP like disputed waters system, of the Indian Ocean. Like push and pull thing. It's kind of a uh, Mortal Kombat did that a while ago. I forget which one. Yeah. Maybe it was ten, where they had the towers thing, and you picked one of the clans and. The results of the fight, uh, the fights changed what was going on, kind of. Located but on I imagine this would work a bit differently, route. like more dynamically. Is the perfect place for an ambush. I'd like there to be some multiplayer. Cause that Here was like the is one our thing gang that, of uh, pirates, Black Flag the raiders, the trick. going like head to head with a gang of rival players, thing. the cutthroats. Victory goes to the team with um, the most loot at the end like, of the I hunt. don't know why they didn't have naval combat. Hmm. Now their multiplayer's always been that weird. Like the asymmetrical and where you're trying to assassinate people. Yeah. Until whoever wins wins. Yourself for tactical advantage in battle. To reap the yeah, most I mean, rewards, well, it is best to split up. Some going inland, others <laughs> keeping to the open sea. Each warship has unique strengths. The yes. frigate's hull is reinforced, Shanties. its arsenal equipped yep. with numerous culverin cannons. Fuck, they heard you. The brigantine is devastating up it close, great. Like, with a know, battering you know, ram designed to break damage. any resistance. The slew of war kills from yeah. afar, with its crippling long-ranged mortars and precise the, uh, long nine cannons. Yeah, something different, because you got something tangible out of it, didn't you, kind of, in the songs, yeah, yeah and you spent so much time at war. Um, out at sea, it was worth collecting them. Like you have fast travel in that fast travel between the cities. Yeah. Nothing will take you now! It's fun to sail around. 
Don't let bloodlust cloud your purpose. You're here for the loot, and so are your rivals. Store the goods, then back to your station. The team that escapes with the most loot claims victory. <laughs> Searching for more oh, targets on the good. horizon, our sloop of war spots a rival pirate ship further inland. Oh, this does look good. It looks like the next level of black flag combat kind of. Reinforced hull. Yeah. Our frigate swoops in to save the day, bearing the brunt of the damage. Andy wrote more realistic Sea of Thieves. Yeah. Our gang yeah. of pirates is now taking aim at the frigate, and it will take team coordination to take her down. Full set, yeah. <laughs> With the enemy ship's broadside now vulnerable, our frigate rushes in to board her. Yeah, especially if you, uh, yeah, if you got it proper and like proper barge into the side of them, it was super satisfying. And he's saying he can't wait for this either. Even, yeah, on board would have been bad. <laughs> yeah, it does what it says on the tin. They're firing more guns! Yeah. Full tilt, Silbo, full tilt! The pirate hunter defences are so strong that the only option is escape. The brigantine is sacrificing herself to buy time for the frigate who carries the most loot. It now needs to make its escape through the reefs. Captain, that's back to the reefs! Successful pirates know when to run, with their hulls full and the wind at their backs. Yeah. Well, it has to be, I guess. It's the whole game, isn't it? So they had to kind of build on it. Oh, here you go. Beat her. Cool. <laughs> Thank you all very much. I'd like to invite you to play the loot hunt at the Ubisoft booth at E3. And please register for our live phases online. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention. The world of Skull and Bones is one that evolves. When you act, it reacts. These sound like the actual shanties out of Black Flag. Yeah. I mean, they can do whatever they want, can't they? It belongs to them. Yeah. Central, or it was Chris Dance, whichever one they do. I forget. 
Oh, this is Jamiroquai, yeah. The video for this song is fucking weird. It's wearing like robot hats. Yeah. Yeah, they were amazed. They've been gone for a while, haven't they? Until this song came out. Why does it say coming up Far Cry 5 in Assassin's Creed? We already saw Assassin's Creed. I <laughs> know, it looks like uh, Smoke. Or oh, what's his. Uh, Noob Saeed, I think, is the weird one. They look a bit like him. New, noob Saeed. Yeah, I saw. So. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I'm gonna pick that up at some point. Sorry, I'm not the most pretty. I'll never Is this is she famous? Like uh, I have no idea who she is. Or she just singing a cover version. <laughs> BB Rexa? <laughs> what are the fucking dancers wearing? One of them is looking looks like she came out of the pirates game. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it does happen every time though, you're right. Well, I guess they have to show it, don't they? Because as much as anything, there's also retailers there. Hey everyone, I'm BB Rexa, and Just Dance 2018 is out this October on all consoles. Yeah. Bye! He flew out Lord Buckethead, the guy who stood in the Yeah, yeah. He allegedly flew him out for the last episode of Last Week Tonight. That's so funny. You use it as a telephone. You use it as a camera. It's your music player, your the flashlight, calculator, also you can and dance GPS with navigation it. device. But now, finally, the most high-tech company in the world has unlocked the mobile phone's true potential so that it can do what it was truly meant to do. We are playing Cabo. South Park mobile game? A tapper? Clicker. Hey, new kid. We need you to come play with us. Put on some cowboy shit and meet us outside. And bring your phone. <laughs> whoa, whoa. We're playing cowboys and Indians, dickhole. Inuits are technically Native Americans. This new kid puts me to shame. <laughs> <laughs> Destroyer. <laughs> Brilliant. Why not? Everything else is doing it, aren't they? There's the Family yeah. Guy, there's that weird Family Guy cartoon card battler thing. There's all sorts, so why not? And it's that shitty Simpsons tapped out game yep. that I got. I played that for far too long. There's that Rick and Morty one as well that a lot of people play. Oh, yeah, the like Rick and Morty version of Pokemon. It's actually quite good. Is it? Yeah. Atlas. Jewel of and the it's Pleiades. full of jokes that are kind of like you need to have watched a lot of Rick and Morty to get jokes. Yeah. But Nova for, uh, you know, took us to the stars. Games, right. Hmm. Adult swim seems to make a lot of good games. Yeah, they're like the last. on top of it, yeah. Did you see we the Devolver no Digital? No, no I'm going to watch oh it later. Oh my god, it's so the good. Legion. Basically, it consumes everything them. in its path. I mean, they only really showed off like two or three games. The rest of it is them just taking the piss They've out never used Starlink before. Three press Go show them what it can do. <laughs> uh, 
um, all the cliches you get. Yeah. What is this? Something new. Their own version of No Man's Sky. Looks a bit more combat, eh? With toys going? to life? Breaking atmosphere. Where did you get the toys to life bit from? Did I miss that? They were just like some little bits. Oh, there, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh. That could put. No one's really done like an adult toys to life kind of thing, have they? This could play to people that like anime and guns and stuff. Yeah. I could see people digging this. And it could take up less, less shelf space because you could have the base uh, like ship and then the little bits would take up less space, wouldn't they? Looks like the base was like mounted to the controller. Mm. Oh yeah, you're right. So a switch controller, yeah. Oh, and then it's swirling around. Yeah, okay. So am I behind you now? Did the guy just walk out on your stream? Okay, okay, I'm alright then. I thought it might be behind you. Maybe you just caught it quicker than I did. At Ubisoft Toronto. You saw it. Like many of you, like, I yeah, grew up in the 80s. Yeah. Obsessed with sci-fi, animation, comics, and of course, I don't know how that would mount to an Xbox really cool controller. At Ubisoft Toronto, just the way the sticks are. I built a team with a dream of bringing those amazing yeah. childhood oh, memories back to life like for a new the, generation. A a Starlink, like Battle for Atlas, <clears throat> in the bottom. allows you and then alongside it, like to a, take control port, of a team of star pilots as far as in a I massive, know, has never been used open, for living star hmm. system. Okay, man. Um, it's for this, then. From the Forgotten I Legion. You can get, like, a Build keypad thing. Like you can get those starship. keypads plugged into the And then adapt yeah. to new challenges yeah. on the fly. Link extra PS4 armor and heavy sure weapons to take on a huge Legion but, prime. Yeah, none of, Search none for ancient, ancient secrets lost hmm. on the worlds of Atlas. Or outrun well, most of the things don't use game. the Xbox One either now since they Freedom added the headphone the jack. There's a chat Starlink mixer thing that I still use. Because yeah. I just prefer being able to control the volume on it rather than having to use the dashboard to do it. And even yeah, yeah. take your game on the go using a, the power um, of Nintendo Switch. Uh, I was getting a bit pissed off with my turn the beach head, so I thought one of the official Sony ones. Nice. Um, Visit StarlinkGame.com for more information and stay headsets. tuned for many more surprises Wireless over the coming months. The chat. Thank you. Right. Um, and you need to control like the mix between uh, game and voice audio on the actual headset itself. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. That's what you can do with the chat thing for the Xbox, kind of. Yeah. But it has to be wired, unfortunately. Oh, steep. Hi, I'm Rebecca Kutaz. I still. So it was good. Yeah, yeah. The studio director at Ubisoft then, like, Dancy. It's a pleasure for me to be back. I'm still waiting for it to go cheap enough. Like I'll buy it if it's yeah, cheap enough. Last year. And we have had uh, since then a full year of support and continuous development of Steam. Nope, got no balance, so can't do it. But I've always liked, I've always liked snowboarding games. Like I loved 1080. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've already said that. It's, actually, it's only 40 bucks on Xbox a right now. On a to practice huh. for that perfect like landing. In SSX we learned how others like make more than yeah. 6 um, million turns to practice for the 15 they have to like race it. in competition. We did play some of the uh, beta. These athletes, they travel to the world to train with the best, to compete with the strongest, and to challenge themselves with the most experienced and skilled coaches. It's truly a level of passion and dedication that goes well beyond our everyday lives. And when you talk to the very best of these men and women, you realize that there is something they always have in back of their minds at all times. It's a dream that takes years of preparation for just one go at that unforgettable moment. This December, with our first steep expansion, this is the journey you will take. Enjoy. Must have sold well enough then for them to make an expansion that is that far out. Like, it's a, quite a big time to dedicate to developing yeah, some, eh? Hmm. 
Mind you, Bethesda made, uh, I haven't seen yet, but apparently Bethesda made a big deal about the DLC DLCs coming out. Yes, they did. Yeah, they did. But it's like you can buy it as a standalone, though, as well. Oh, nice. Um, I think the Sonic is fucking great. I, I love the first one. Um, I love the second one even more. I wish more people would play it because it's so good. It's cool. It's a cool way to do it because we don't see Olympics games, Winter Olympics, because we just get the Mario and Sonic, don't we now? Yeah. Unfortunately. No. These games were incredible. I loved the one on N64. Oh yeah, 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 for sure, <laughs> without a doubt. Yeah, I'll be getting that. I like me a bit of steak. Guessing it's gonna be Far Cry. Yeah, I, that's why I would guess that too. Yep. <clears throat> I'm still, I'm still just not bothered about this. No, we talked about it on the podcast, didn't we? I'm not <laughs> asked at all. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, the, the concept sounds kind of interesting, but I just have no faith in them to write a compelling story. They haven't done. They didn't do it three or. Hey, did you play um, Far Cry 3? Uh, not all the way. I didn't finish it. They kill off the most compelling character less than halfway through the fucking game. Oh, so you're kind of done after that? Yeah, like that's, you know, the uh, driver to the definition of my insanity. Oh, so he's the guy that appears the in all the stuff. The the yep. Game, yeah, yeah. Interesting character in the whole thing. Dies halfway through the game. And then... You're just fighting against some generic South African. Oh, that's just shit. The second half of that game was wank. <laughs> the whole first half was really Hi, my good. My name is Dan Hay, like and elements, I'm the executive producer uh, of Far Cry the Brand, and and as well like as yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really Far Cry it. It. And then the second I'd half like to introduce you to Hope County, yeah, Montana. Apart. Vast, beautiful, hmm. rugged. And Far Cry a place where never people really don't even lock their front door anymore. But that's how it used I to have be. not played that. Today, I've got it sat waiting to play. It's on my list. You find yourself trapped deep in cult territory, it's worth cut off from the rest of the bad. world. They've closed the roads. There's no cell Just phone signal, no 911. People yeah. are fucking scared. I had to say it. <laughs> and just up ahead, the small town of Falls End has been completely overrun. If you're gonna survive, you and your guns for hire are gonna need to save it. But to do that, well, you're gonna need to raise some hell. This would literally never happen with any of us. Not on this, it's, not on not this on scale. scale. No, I was gonna it's say, not on this scale, compound, smaller. Yeah. It's it's already happened before. Yes. Like compounds and shit, but not, not like a, an entire chunk of Montana. Uh, no. Shh, we got piggies. I'm sure they're gonna have another charismatic bad guy. Who you hardly see. That was one of the annoying things about Far Cry 4, which is like Peng and Ming, um, the bad guy in, in that game. You get Troy Baker in to voice the character, and he's doing a really good job, and then he's barely in the game. Weird. Water tower, got it. Hmm. Sounds like they make weird decisions then. They do. I've got no faith in them to <laughs> make this into Correct a game. Correct it, yeah. Could be wrong, the reviews when it comes out could be like, oh, it's amazing, but I doubt it. I'm in position. 
Boom, boom, motherfuckers. Boom, 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 boom. Bang, bang, bang. Boom, 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 boom. Behind you. Bang, 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 bang. Gonna need more help. I love the way you walk. Nope. I love the way you talk. When you walk that walk. When you talk that talk. You knocks me out. My feet. Boom, 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 boom. Target a fucking quad. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, but how many times are you actually gonna? How many cool moments like that are gonna be in amongst a massive game? Yeah, it's like you know, the same sort of things in Far Cry 4, and like you could ride into an enemy camp on the back of an elephant wielding a grenade launcher. Oh so yeah, yeah, I remember this that. Is pretty cool, uh, but it's just those little moments buried in just in a pile of shit. <laughs> yeah. So if we see, we had one surprise. Are there going to be any more? I wonder. Oh, what's this? This can't be beyond good and evil too. Where's your master? I don't deal with domesticated. Hey, the fuck! I ain't got no master, but I do have your little toy. Show me the idol. Show me the redeemer. Here you go, mate. Come on, don't tease us. Yo, 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 hand it over. I got a hot date. We don't do is that late. what this is? What other game has a talking pig? <laughs> Monkey's got a date. I can't think of date. anything else that's got a talking pig. It's It's got to be, right? <laughs> What? 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 That's Swiss fucking chocolate, pig. It just seems tonally very different. Yeah. Then Beyond Good and Evil's an old game when you could do something new with it. I want every fucking cop in this fucking city after that fucking bastard! Grab my chassis, Noxie! Whatever the hell this is, it looks cool. Easy peasy, bro. It looks super. Uh, Shit! Uh, Hang on! Uh, yeah! Bang, These cars, sure. What's that game that's been special? Oh, I don't know. Look at that. Uh, the in the city of a thousand planets. Not even heard of it. Oh, look it up on YouTube, are you? See, the thing is, if this is Beyond Good and Evil, they cannot get away with just showing this. After all this time, they have to show gameplay because it's been so bloody long. These vehicles look like Beyond Good and Evil. And it's an, um, uh, Michel Ancel's been working on that game for the same as well. Just kind of separate. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's about bloody time. Let's see what we've got. Moksha. 
just as Yama described it. True freedom lies beyond. It is, isn't it? It's got to be. It has to be. We might be being really dumb by not catching on that it is already. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Yeah. Yeah. Coming 2020. There is. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is a, but, but why is he crying? <laughs> I think so. Thank you. First of all, I want to say a big thank you to all the teams who worked very, very, very hard on creating all, all this, all this world. Uh, again, thank you to all these, these teams behind us. I want also to say thank you to Eve, with all my heart. For letting me make this game. <laughs> yeah, for, for letting me make this batshit crazy game. <laughs> Thanks Eve for making this happen, this is, this is just amazing. Uh, and also a special thanks to the fans of Beyond Good and Evil for sticking with <laughs> us for so long. For so long. <laughs> for begging. For years. About bloody time. 15 years. <laughs> Almost. Shit, is that how old it is? Yeah, yeah. So welcome to oh, System 3. Feel old. Our story takes place before the birth of Jade, in a multi-ethnic, multicultural human society in a distant solar system. Okay, so it's a free call. A good move. It is a time because when corporations create hybrids in their labs and enslave to them to colonize the stars like in order to compete for power to, uh, and cosmic resources. A sequel to a game. With our crew, no, crazy you either do it a reboot or a prequel. Yeah. We yeah. fight in the name of freedom and the right to determine our own fate among the stars. And we will helm massive star faring vessels through territories as spectacular as they are dangerous. We've been working very hard um, just on the technology during three years. And today, we have a seamless online playground where we can travel across space at the speed of light. We can explore mysterious cities and discover unknown lands by ourselves or with friends. And we want you to participate in the making of this great adventure. Join our <laughs> Space Monkey program <laughs> today and help us make Beyond Good and Evil Wait. a world that will challenge us. Is that us crowdfunding? And bring us together for thousand adventure, thrills and fun. Just the way he said help us make Please, Beyond Good and Evil. Join us. This is by joining our program. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah congratulations. I the yeah. way they're talking makes yeah. it sound yeah. like they've Michelle, made the engine. A fantastic job. And they it need it's amazing like what the, uh, um, I've been you have been able Sony to achieve. Shenmue and thing. you yeah. and I um, and all the teams um, have the power of creating games that will amaze all the gamers. And I think video games can help us to grow and to get better. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Mm. Thank you. I'm trying to load the page now. It's not loading. I'm skeptical. Just the, that, the wording of all of that. Nothing made it sound like there's a game. I would and like to thank everyone here in the room and those who are watching us from home. Thank you for listening oh, it's today. Always this, isn't it? And this thank pitch. you for playing our games. So to all the teams at please Ubisoft, please thank you please for your incredible imagination and enthusiasm. All of us here, we wish you all a lot of fun playing games this year. So thank you very much and have a great E3. There was a distinct lack of cringe. Because ah, they didn't know. 
They didn't have a presenter being all over the top, did they? And they didn't have yeah. the weird YouTubers. I'm convinced that this is crowd. Yes. Yeah, I'm just going to turn off. Ubisoft just finished its E3 press conference. Wow. I'm, I'm trying to get on the website now. Yeah, I, I was trying, trying to get it to load. It's not. I bet it's been. Yeah, it's just it's not. It's been loaded. hammered. <laughs> it's gonna, everyone's on it. Yeah, that website's getting hammered. Um, are IGN Live sponsored by Five Hour Energy? <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I was. Uh, I was really impressed. Yeah, me too, actually. Uh, that pirate game looks fucking great. I've wanted a standalone. I, I wanted like another Black Flag or a standalone pirate game set like in a game like that for years. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. That Mario and Rabbids game looked. I wanted to hate it. Um, it was hard to hate, to hate it. it. <laughs> yep. Um, we got Steep, that DLC. Some, yeah, more Steep content, which I like. Some weird VR game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm still hopeful that Assassin's Creed is good. Um, with any luck. Uh, what else did it show off? Uh, oh, yeah, the crew. I'm not too worried about the crew. No. Um, um, just dance. Not fussed about that. No, not fussed about Far Cry. But there was en there was enough there to to interest me. Yeah, and you have to remember, like uh, they're just a publisher, aren't they? Not a platform holder. It's always going to be a bit short, a bit like how Bethesda's was yesterday. Yeah, it was um, only half an hour, wasn't it? I think forty-five minutes. I think it wasn't long. No. Um, yeah, pretty good. I'm still yeah. convinced. I'm just trying to see what Eurogamer is saying about. I'm convinced that Beyond Good and Evil is not a game. Yeah, I'm checking Twitter now. To just see. the way they said it. it. The way they were voicing them, like, oh, we've created this engine and you can travel at light speed. Uh, someone, at Twitter, someone on Twitter just made a good point. Um, something I kind of hoped they would. I, I'd forgotten about them. So I, I was listening to uh, a podcast this morning, they were talking about it how they hoped this game would be there. Um, Splinter Cell? Yeah, I kind of, like, I wanted, I thought it might be an Xbox, people have been saying. Hmm. That last Splinter Cell game was really good. I don't know, if, I don't know how well it sold, but uh, they did a really good job of combining, like, the Splinter Cell blacklist um, sort of action combat with a more traditional yeah. proper, no kills, ghost stealth game. So, mm. uh, yeah, and Beyond Good and Evil. I, yeah, I, I think that it, if, it, if it does turn out to be a crowdfunding thing, it's going to be a little shitty because they didn't just out and say it. No. Yeah, at least Shamu had the decency to be like, oh, we're pressing this button and the Kickstarter's, <laughs> Kickstarter's live. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, it did... It, yeah, because what else is the space program? If it was going to be like a BO, they'd be like, yo, here, come, sign up. The way they said join the space program and help us make it a reality sounded weird. Um, but I'm not seeing anything. I'm not see if anyone else on Twitter say anything about it. Uh, no, they're really mentioning it. Huh. Become a space monkey and join the BG2 movement. Learn more about... Alright, there's a Ubisoft blog. Let's have a look. Um, oh, right, no. Uh, oh, I don't know. It says, Ansel wants your help to do it too. The Beyond Good and Evil 2 team at Ubisoft Montpellier is looking for fans to help by sharing ideas and feedback and encourage players <laughs> to sign up now for the Space Monkey program. Stay tuned to UB Blog for more coverage of Ubisoft C3 2017. Uh, so I don't know. Does that mean they don't have a clue what to put in it? Uh, maybe. Because what is a 
Beyond Good and Evil 2 Are game. making Beyond... Like, is, it an, is it like an MMO? Because he said like exploring the universe on your own or with friends. That's true. That would be weird. Hmm. Um, uh, Michel Ansel said, We know the expectations for Beyond Good and Evil 2 are enormous. We're creating a sci-fi space opera, a game where players fight for freedom alongside unforgettable characters and explore a stunning and vast solar system, all while capturing the spirit of Beyond Good and Evil. Uh, so it's in Beyond Good and Evil in name. Yeah. Uh, as you rise from a lowly pirate to legendary captain, you'll traverse System 3 at light speed to explore freely on your own or with friends. Presenting its solar system as a massive, seamless online environment, Beyond Good and Evil 2 gives players the chance to dive into the foundations of the franchise's universe whilst travelling between the diverse planets and moons in search of adventure. This doesn't sound like Beyond Good and Evil. No, it doesn't. This sounds like they've thought, okay, we're going to set something in this world and we're going to make... We're just going to create... Destiny. Yeah, we're going to create a million stories... <laughs> Oh, it's, yeah, it does. It sounds a bit like a mashup of Destiny and No Man's Sky. Yeah, and uh, yeah, mm. I don't think this is necessarily what people want. <laughs> Where did you read down? Ubisoft's blog, then. That's on the Ubi blog. Yeah, blog.ubi.com/slash/beyond-good-evil-two. Blah blah blah. Hmm. Um, what was it? BG. BG game. I'm still trying. I couldn't get on it. But it's getting hammered. Yeah, it's not even thinking about loading. Yeah, I'll check that one out. So that's kind of weird then. So they have two space games, sort of. Because uh, that system link or whatever the hell it was called. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, that one. I completely forgot about that already. What the the, the the toys to adult toys to life thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. There's a decent amount of interesting stuff in that. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. It was better than uh, Bethesda's, if you're going to compare them to the other publisher. Uh, the only thing that came out of Bethesda that was... I haven't seen the Wolfenstein trailer yet. The, only thing <laughs> the Wolfenstein was trailer was good. Uh, was the Dishonored 2 DLC. Uh, I did see people are quite upset that they basically... You know, uh, a while ago, they were going to do paid mods. Yes. And the they went nuts and they, they stopped it. Um, yep. Now they're doing it again. <laughs> yeah, they brought it back, and but kind of like it's uh, partnered, so people can't just steal stuff. And which what is what happened with Skyrim? People were publishing each other's mods to make money. And now there's at least some sort of content control on their part, but it's still fan it's content. Still shitty though. Yeah, it's still shitty. There was a I think it was a PC gamer joke article when Skyrim came out. About how the first DLC for Skyrim was going to be crab armor because of like the mud crabs. Yeah. Um, that is literally one of when they showed like a splash screen of stuff you could buy. Yeah, you could buy stuff. Like yeah. Ancient dwarven armor on a crab. Yeah. Crab armor. It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, oh, Bethesda. They've gone from being. Um, you know, they had a pretty sound year last year, and then this year has been. Oh no! Actually, it started last year, didn't it? With like the no um, early uh, copies of uh, Doom being sent out. Yes. For review. Yeah. And that one, that was fine because that game turned out to be really good. But then doing the same shit with um, Prey and. Uh, Skyrim Enhanced Edition, whatever it's called, only sending the games out to select YouTube um, uh, influencers. Um, it's pretty bullshit. Yeah. We've started shady practices for sure. Hmm. Be interested to see what people think coming out of it. But they definitely had a good show. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Yeah, on, there's a decent feedback on Twitter. People seem to have enjoyed it. Well, yeah. They may have. That might be reveal of the show, I guess. 
There's not been anything else yet. No. Not really. I guess it's probably a good sign that the Beyond Good and Evil website's being hammered already. Yeah. Oh wait, is it loading this time? Oh no. Service unavailable. <laughs> yeah, that's one to leave for tomorrow, I think. Yeah. So, what time Should is Should we leave it there then? Yeah. Um, are we still streaming? We are still streaming, yeah. <laughs> still streaming. Oh, Jesus. Um, oh, actually, quickly. Uh, Andy wrote some stuff that we missed. He wrote mixed bags, skull and bones, good, uh, Creed and South Park, others, meh. And then he wrote maybe an elite type okay. game. Mm, yeah. Um, how come I can't retweet you? Oh, I know why. Oh, you've got your you've got a padlock next to you. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you want to retweet? Oh, I just wanted to retweet that uh, that comment you made about it looking like it's crowdfunded. Okay, I'll change my thing and you can retweet it. It was uh, locked for a reason at some point. Doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, I won't ask. I won't ask why. That's okay. Uh, or I'll retweet it from the Laps Gamer one. I'll write it in there too. Right, That'll solve that that's problem. Um, yeah, yeah, that's going to do it, I guess. Um, I'm going to yeah. try and restream the Sony one out later. But it's a bit later. It's a stupid o'clock for you, yeah, right? I will be, it's like starts at like about two. So Well, they say it starts at two, so it'll probably start at about half two. I will be well and truly asleep by then. Oh, okay. Well, cheers for joining me. It's been fun. I'm sad we didn't yes. have as much cringe. <laughs> yeah, but at least we got some decent looking games. Some good looking games, yeah. Yeah, I'm just looking at the recap now on IGN. South Park mobile game as well. Yeah, we forgot about that actually. When we were doing our recap. Yeah. Yeah. Looks yeah. good. Alright. That's cool. Cool. Well, um, I will speak to you later. Gonna, I don't think there's any other uh, conferences on. Uh, well, hang on, what's left? Uh, Sony and then I guess Nintendo's Nintendo. direct thing. Um, yeah, there. Uh, when is the Ninty Direct? Tomorrow morning, nine o'clock their time. So uh, five o'clock your time, maybe. Oh, I might get home just in time to watch it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's twelve o'clock my time, so it'll be five o'clock your time. Yeah. Sweet. All right. So that's yeah, pretty good timing we'll for you. Watch, then. Well, enjoy. Cool. All right. I'll see you later then. All right. Catch you later. Bye.